Hello and welcome everyone to this SAP Analytics Cloud Training Tutorials. In today's episode, we will discuss about how to use what-if analysis in SAP planning. When it comes to what-if analysis, as a business consultant or a financial consultant, I would like to know how is a change in a business number is going to impact my bottom line as well as top line. There are different activities which we perform as part of what if analysis, including increment and decrement of KPIs, calculating the formulas, applying different distributions, creating updates, creating formulas, creating manually adding rows and columns, adding variance charts. So a lot of these things we do cover as part of what if analysis. All of this is covered in my detailed training with anubavtrainings.com. But in this tutorial or short series of video, I will show you a glimpse of that. So let me switch it over to SAP Analytics Cloud System. So now I am in SAP Analytics Cloud System. I have already created a planning data model, which is important to create any what if analysis. And we will go ahead and create a story. And I will be creating this story as a canvas page. We will just quickly go ahead and add our data model, the planning data model, which I've already created. I will switch over to my story page and I will quickly add a table. Now I will select over here my gross sales. And I would like to see the analysis of the gross sales per region. So when it comes to region, I have businesses across different regions, overseas and in USA regions. So I will select USA and overseas. I would also want it to show only the child nodes in the hierarchy. So I will switch on the switch to see only the child nodes. Now this is my actual sales data at the moment. What I would now do is create a new version to apply what if analysis. For example, I will go back and now over here in the version management, we will quickly create a copy of our actual version. And I will say what if analysis or what if. I will say copy all the data from actuals and you would see a new version called what if has been created. Let's switch it back to the system and now you can see my data is being visible. I would like to go back again to my hierarchy settings and also show all the data including the chart. So this is my tree data. So now what I will do is I will go ahead and apply an what if analysis on my data to say what will happen if my United States gross sales will be increased by 20%. I would like to know and observe the impact of that increase in the gross sales over here on different regions of USA. So let me go back and just minimize and just add plus 20% and press enter. And there you go. My gross sales has been increased in USA by 20%. And now if I just expand it, you can see over here, my gross sales is automatically distributed across different regions over here in USA. All right. So this is called what if analysis. This is how we can exactly perform what if analysis. There are a lot more different things you can do. You can add a variance chart. You can add different stuff. All of this is covered in detail in our SAP Analytics Cloud Detail Training with anubavtrainings.com. With the complete business meaning of each analysis and type of operations which you can perform on different planning model. So with that, I hope you enjoyed this video. Feel free to subscribe our course on planning, including SAP Analytics Cloud. And I will see you in the next video.